Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. Before we get to the card process today, I just wanted to let you know Honeybee is having a sale March 15th, 16th, and 17th. A collection of products on the website are on sale 20% off using the code SPRING20 at checkout, so you can check that out on the Honeybee website. I will link that up in the description box below. Today I'm going to be using the gorgeous vintage mailbox A2 card base. This is a really cool die set that you can use in a variety of different ways. You don't just have to use it as a card base, obviously, but it's a very cool die set with a lot of different dies. So if you haven't checked this out yet, it is fantastic. Now I have done some die cutting with the dies already to create some of the different elements for my project today. I did die cut out the front of of the mailbox from a wine colored cardstock that I think is called Wineberry, I believe, or something like that from Concord and Ninth. And I'm also going to adhere that onto a piece of white cardstock that's die cut out as well with that same die. So now you can just see that's just going to give a sturdier piece for my uh, element for my card front here. Now I did die cut out this piece using the dies from some, this is some matte shimmer cardstock that's silver. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that onto that piece that's indicated there with the embossed lines for that rectangle. I'll just give that a really good press and adhere that into place as well. I've also die cut some of the other elements to adorn the opening or the, the top little slot area. Again, using that uh, silver matte shimmery cardstock and some white cardstock as well. And I'll go ahead and add that to that area there that is that top flap on this vintage mailbox. This is such a cool die and you could definitely use this as a card base for sure. I love all of the different little dies that you can use to decorate the post box. I think it's just really, really a, a very unique die. I have not seen anything like this and I think it's just really awesome. So there you can see that little element at the top with that silver again. Now this is one of our 3D embossing folders called Spring Medley. It's one of my favorites. It is absolutely gorgeous. The detail you get with this 3D embossing folder is just absolutely stunning. Now I am going to go ahead and adhere that onto an A2 size top folding card base and that's going to be the background for my vintage mailbox. So I'm just going to leave that white. I just like that white texture. Now I have taken the Lovely Layers Water Lily die and I've die cut that out to create the floral or the bloom that I'm going to decorate my mailbox with. And I also uh, die cut out some of the Lovely Layers Spring Greenery, greenery from some green cardstock as well to um, embellish my lily. Now I am using again that same Concord and Ninth color that coordinates with the cardstock. Again, I think it's called Wildberry. It's really, really pretty. It's a really pretty deep burgundy. It's one of their newest uh, ink colors that they've recently released. And I'm using a waffle flower blending brush. It's one of the detail blending brushes. And I'm using that just to create some lines uh, for shading on my pieces here. Now I'm just going to go in with a regular blending brush and add some color over top and then again you'll just see me going in with this shader brush adding those lines to create the details on the the lily and I'm just using the lines that are embossed on the paper as a guide. Those lines are embossed when you die cut the the different pieces of the water lily. Now you can just see how nicely these are going to layer together super easy and I I am using my Altenew grip mat to help me keep these in place on my table here as I'm ink blending onto them. Again, just creating those lines and the definition um, and just it just does create this really cool detail on the lilies just to add that little bit of depth and dimension and then just going in over top with the ink again in that same color with the regular blending brush and this one I'm doing it the reverse just to show you here you could do your base color first and then go in and do the shading with your shader brush over top of the color that you add as a base. 
Now I'm going to glue these layers together to create my beautiful dimensional water lily here. And you could use any of the lovely layers um, for this with this technique of ink blending using the shader brush from Waffle Flower. And Honeybee does have those Waffle Flower shading brushes in the shop. So make sure you check those out. They're really, really handy. And you can use them for shading for lots of different types of images or die cuts, whatever it is that you're working on. So I really like those brushes. I think they're very cool. So there you can just see how nicely and easily this layers together. This is the little top piece here to finish it off. And then I do have the two little center pieces um, that I die cut and I just colorized with some yellow um, ink. And I'm just going to go ahead and add these two layers together and that's going to finish off the details for this beautiful water lily. I'll just add a little bit of uh, glue onto the back of these pieces here just using my honeybee tweezers to help me out here and I'll place that into that little area there it just fits perfectly and this is going to embellish the front of my vintage mailbox. This is totally inspired by a card that Kelly Taylor did a couple of weeks ago where she used I think it was the magnolia and she put the magnolia inside of the mailbox kind of like coming out and I just thought oh those lovely layers flowers are so pretty on the front of that mailbox I definitely wanted to try that although my card is not even close to as stunning as Kelly's was it was definitely um inspired by how she used the Lovely Layers florals on the front of the vintage mailbox. I think it's a great way to use your Lovely Layers with this specific die. Now these gorgeous little leaves again like I said are from the Spring Greenery Lovely Layers. It's one of my favorite um, greenery pieces from our Lovely Layer sets and I did die cut those out of some green cardstock and I'm just going to give them a, a little bit of a haircut just so that they layer in nicely behind that magnolia and that is going to be how I embellish that card front. Now I am using the Mailbox Memo Sentiments stamp and coordinating die set to create my sentiment today. I just stamped out the special delivery sentiment with my Honey Bee Intense Black ink and I've die cut that out and now it's ready to add just to the top of that mail slot there. That's a perfect spot for the sentiment here and I've, I've just added a little bit of foam adhesive onto the back. Now now I did want to add a little bit more interest to the card so I am just going to splatter with some white paint onto mostly onto the magnolia and the greenery but I do add a little bit of this splatter to the mailbox as well here and there. It mostly does just add the detail to the florals. Friends that's going to be about it for my project today. I am going to show you another shot, shot of the card and I just really enjoyed this process today. I thought it was a lot of fun. Don't forget about that 20% off sale on a specific collection of products in the Honeybee shop. I will link up to all of the things I've used in my video here today as well as that sale over at Honeybee Stamps. Have an amazing weekend friends and I'll see you again next Friday. Bye-bye.